tell us a little bit more about your movie. What's what's next for that? Um, what what made you decide to do the project, and where where and when can we see it? Right, so Farmlands hopefully will be out within the next month. I'm hesitant to give people a specific date because there's so much preparation that has to go into it. The films always uh, take we, about six months longer than anybody says they will and an extra $200,000 or something, right? Precisely, but luckily on my channel, if you just look up on YouTube, Lauren Southern, you can find a ton of little mini series you watched a bit at the beginning, interviewing farmers themselves, interviewing pol politicians, uh, interviewing individuals who have been struck by the drought, by murder, by all these different crises, just to actually bring it to you and to see, we hear a lot of statistics. And of course there's that famous Joseph Stalin quote that is just horrific where he says, um, one person's death is a tragedy, a million is simply a statistic. And for a lot of people, all they've seen is the statistics of farm murders. All they've seen is the numbers that this is happening at a horrific rate. But they haven't actually gotten to meet the people and realize these are humans just like me and you that are suffering through this crisis right now. And that's kind of what I hope to do with farmlands. It, I hope to humanize the Afrikaner people and show that they're not just these statistics. They're not these colonizer monsters as some people like to portray them. They just happen to be born on this land after their family had been there hundreds of years. But also to record what is going on in South Africa because Lord knows if things get worse there, the media is not going to tell the truth. And I want there to be at least some record of what happened in South Africa so we can learn from kind of the mistakes, which hopefully we can fix things, but if not, you, you I want would the think, truth to be out there. You would think we would have learned from Zimbabwe, but if, if mm -hmm. South Africa destroys itself as it looks like it is doing, then at least there will be a record and maybe we'll be able to stop the next country. 